a big part of, of the usability and the value that these domains provide uh, is where they're accepted and how you can use them. Um, so could you maybe talk about the, the Wallet Alliance partnership, uh, the difference between top level domains and, and the domains you guys are creating and where you see that going? Yeah, so back in October, we announced an alliance with 30 plus wallets to have uh, integrations so that they will all be able to read um, our NFT domains for sending and receiving cryptocurrency. And this includes some of the largest players in the space, like blockchain.com. Um, and we're doing the best that we can to get out and do as many applications as, as we can. We recently crossed over 100 uh, integrations just this past, uh, past couple of weeks. And uh, honestly, we're we think we're going to very soon be into the thousands, if not tens of thousands over the next several years, um, because this is going to be a way for people to kind of represent that they are crypto native or Web3 when they are um, interacting with even uh, normal apps on the space. So, yeah, super important. We have a full team that's dedicated to trying to make sure that everyone can learn how to uh, read uh, blockchain NFT domains. And, uh, you know, obviously we're investing in APIs and, and libraries and all these other things to make it easier to start building. We have a Discord. So if anybody listening to this is a developer, please go in there. You can uh, learn how to easily integrate with your application. Um, we'd love to show you some of the advantages that you can get. Uh, and it's absolutely free, like for apps. Like there's no charge for you to come in there and read this data off um, and get integrated. And if anything, we can help you market uh, to our users, of which we have several hundred thousand um, that are very excited to use your services if your services interact with uh, our domains. So Matthew, what kind of support does Unstoppable Domains have? Can I just type in an Unstoppable Domain, say to MetaMask and Coinbase? I mean, what about other big platforms? Yeah, so uh, MetaMask, no, unfortunately. So please reach out to MetaMask if you're out there in the crowd. Let them know you'd love to see Unstoppable Domains on their platform. Uh, we've been waiting on MetaMask snaps. That's something that they've been working on for the past uh, 12 plus months. That's how they are intending to integrate with uh, third-party applications that build on top of MetaMask. Um, and uh, Coinbase, uh, we are in their uh, self-custody wallet. We had the very first exchange, OKCoin, OK actually support unstoppable domains. Um, you can imagine exchanges are very concerned about security for their users when sending and receiving. So it's still very early in the market for all this adoption. But mm -hmm. honestly, like we need to push harder in the crypto space to get these services to adopt uh, naming because like your friends, your family, um, your parents are not going to be using uh, hex addresses for sending and receiving crypto. I mean, it's just, you know, if we're going to have 3 billion people on the planet sending and receiving crypto, I'm, I'm very convinced that they're going to be sending it to a name and not to a hex address. Wow.